<clears throat> okay, let's get some numbers up on the board. We are comparing the Corolla Hatch Hybrid with the Dolphin. The reason we're doing this is because this is what everybody says is Dolphin's competitor, the Corolla. Um, so I thought we'd do a, um, a test to sh have a look at the difference. Um, clearly there are people who are um, choosing Corollas and there are people who are choosing Dolphins. So what, what will make a Dolphin um, purchaser or a Corolla person go to the other? So, so this is just comparing them. So we're comparing the Corolla SX and the Corolla ZR, both of which are hybrids and both of which are um, hatches. And we're comparing it with the Dolphin, the Dynamic range and the Premium range. So let's have a look at some prices. The, um, the SX um, Corolla is $39,276 and its natural competitor is a few dollars dearer, um, which is the um, Dolphin Dynamic. Now, the Dynamic Dolphin Dynamic will <coughs> um, get rebates in some states. In Queensland, for example, you get $6,000. So that's a big amount to drop off that. That brings it down to 34, which is substantially less than the Corolla. The Dolphin is 46,537, where its competitor of the Corolla ZR is 43,191. Again, in Queensland, for example, you can get $6,000 rebate. I'm not sure what the other states are. They tend to be all over the place. I don't think Victoria has anything. I think New South Wales is 3,000. Um, but anyway, so let's just compare the power because uh, that's what you know, people think about. So so the Corollas, uh, both the Corollas, are 103, 103 kilowatt of power. Now the Dolphin is 70. The Dolphin Dynamic is 70 and the premium uh, Dolphin is 150. Now at first glance, this looks to be considerably less than this. However, um, there is a difference with um, power. So the power that you get with a, um, a, a petrol car or, or even a hybrid car uh, when it's running the, the uh, engine is based on the revs. So in low revs, it's got less power. At high revs has got high power. So how you get to 103 kilowatts is by having having a very high uh, re, um, uh, revs. Where in the electric vehicles, the maximum uh, uh, power is based on your accelerator pedal. So if your accelerator pedal is um, at 50% down, you're going to get 50% of the power. Um, if your pedal is down right to the floor, you're getting full power. So at standing start, you can get full power by pushing the accelerator to the floor. But you can't do that with a uh, with an ice car. You've got to have the uh, revs build up. So it's it's a self fulfilling prophecy if you like. <laughs> the faster you go, the more power that you've got. So it'd be interesting to see how the driving of the Dolphin Dynamic, 70 kilowatts of power, in an electric um, mode, um, compares with the Corolla SX and the ZR at 103 um, with the two different types of power. So I'll go into that in, in far more detail in, in another video that I've got, which is the um, News 4. Um, I'll do a, a BY, BYD News where I talk about that. Um, <clears throat> Okay, so, so we'll see how that is. Um, I, I, I believe what you'll find is that this will feel like it's got more power than that. But we'll see. Now this is 150 kilowatt, uh, as against 103, and that's a huge amount of power. I mean, that's, that's you know, that's very far, very high. In fact, it's, uh, 0 to 100 is um, 7.3 seconds, I think. Uh, where this one is uh, about 11. So there's a, there's a big difference. Not that, not that you want to do standing starts at, at, drive, at, at um, 
traffic lights or anything, but, but there you go. Now we all know that torque is, is very important. And again, the torque is the same um, um, as, as the power in the sense that this torque and this torque is based on the revs of the motor car. So you've got to get the revs up to get that power. Where the, um, the power that you get in the dynamic and the power that you get in the premium, which is fully electric, um, is based on your um, accelerator pedal. Okay, now let's look a bit at the fuel economy. Now, uh, Toyota claim 4 litres per 100 um, at $2 would we'll give you is $8 per 100. Um, most home people, most people at home, their electricity is around 23 cents. Um, if it is 23 cents, then uh, it's about 15 kilowatts per 100 is a you know, let's say you work on that. Uh, that's realistic. I don't know that's so realistic, but that's realistic. Um, so at 23 cents, it would cost you $3.45 per 100, um, which is quite a saving. I mean, it's more than half. Um, there is some infrastructure that you need to get um, to plug in at home, but that's well and truly be covered by, by any rebate. So the first test is going to be uh, luggage base. So I brought some luggage with me. And we'll see how it fits. Clearly, this doesn't fit. Um, no. Okay, so you can get one of these in, or you probably get, you get two. No. The wheels stick out. And so you could probably get two of these in, but it sticks out too far. Okay. So, okay. Fair enough. It's... But to be fair to the um, Corolla, it does have a... Um, It does have a spare wheel under here, so that takes up some space. So let's get some measurements. Now let's try getting into it. So there's plenty of room in the back seat. Um, that's that is good, plenty of room. I can um, get my legs in, no problem. Oh, a lot more room here. Like talk and cheese. 
totally different. Okay, let's see how she drives. and how it's very predictable with its acceleration um, and I'll, towards the end of this video I'll explain what is the difference between the acceleration and why it is the way it is. Nothing much more I can say other than that. It, if you're thinking about a Corolla um, hybrid or the um, Dolphin, um, certainly the um, Dolphin is a lot roomier and a lot easier to get in and out. Um, if you want to, don't take my word for the driving experience. Um, take a Dolphin for a test drive and take a um, the Corolla Hybrid for a test drive. Um. Okay, so let's do the same route with the Dolphin. It's, it's certainly a lot smoother. So let's see how that goes.
it, it's definitely a lot smoother ride. So this is a pretty rough road, but I wanted to just see the difference between the um, Corolla and this. And I'm also suspecting that the the uh, suspension on the Dolphin is more tuned than the Atto. Um, some people have said that the Dolphin's nippier than the um, from the 803. I don't think it's nippier from an acceleration point of view, but I think because the, the suspension's firmer, it um, goes around corners flatter, um, or seems to. And as a result, it um, feels more nimble, I suppose. Okay, so I'm taking the um, the Dolphin Pre uh, sorry Dolphin Dynamic um, for a drive, and to see how the difference between this and the Premium. Um, I'll go through the specs a bit later, but but uh, this is just purely driving, and what I really want to see is how how does it drive with such less you know, because it's got less power. So how does it drive? And um, I think that's a question everybody asks: Is should we pay the extra money to buy um, to uh, you know buy the premium for basically a, a bigger battery and a more powerful motor? So um, that's the whole purpose of this um, video: uh, is this drive? That feels very nippy the other one. And I didn't think it was nippy. I just thought it was very um, well tuned suspension. So you had less body rock. Gee, it goes well. It um, it certainly doesn't suffer from. Um, I thought it'd be a lot, you know, gutless if I can use that word. Um, but certainly, it seems to. Uh, gee, maybe they've. Um, are you sure this is a small one? Yep, yeah, this is a small one. So which one goes around corners better in your view? It's supposed to be. Um, usually the premium one, because it has the multi-link suspension in the rear. Yes, it, it definitely felt the premium, I had the premium for a day, and, um, and it certainly felt more zippy around corners. Like it's seemed, you know, I noticed when I got in the car and drove it, there wasn't that spaceship sound. Is that because it was turned off? Ah, uh, yes, that is correct. The yeah, other, no, you can't turn it off. Oh, really? No. Uh, you got to disconnect it. <laughs> I found that with the premium that I could turn it off. Now, so. Well, so far. It, um, so in a in an ice car, they talk about you know having a lower gear ratio. So you have a lower top speed, but you have fast acceleration. I'm just wondering whether they've lowered the top speed of this to get better um, to get better acceleration because she certainly accelerates. I'm not too sure as to what the top speed is no, in no, the no. Dolphin. I'm not. Um, Of 
We got for test drive on our road books here. We need to do 40. I've got to say, drugs mostly just drives like the premium. But mind you, I haven't got up and I'm not telling you that. But certainly from a stoplight and to accelerate, it is very smooth and it's very fast. Um, compared with the uh, Corolla hybrid, this thing goes like a rocket. It's got, it's very fast. It's, um, it's surprising, actually. Power, I thought it would be, um, thinking of it as good as this. Mind you, the torque makes a big difference, isn't it? The torque makes a big difference. Yeah. And also, the, um, the power doesn't come in at high revs, and the power's there all the time. Which is one of the advantages of an electric car. Well, my main focus was all I wanted to really do is to see what was the difference as far as the power goes between the two. Um, is it really worth you know, five, six thousand dollars extra for the extra power? That's a personal thing, but you certainly don't um, certainly don't lose out by being a smaller motor. It's incredible. It's got more body roll than the premium. It's definitely more body roll than the premium. Um, but I think that having that body roll um, means it's a, a bit better around the bumps and rough roads. You certainly wouldn't be disappointed. You certainly wouldn't be disappointed um, from a power point of view if you if you bought the uh, dynamic. Um, I don't know what the other road testers will say, you know, but you know, for an ordinary driver, um, you probably don't gain that much more by having the uh, the bigger motor. Probably, maybe the battery might be uh, of some benefit. But unless you're a rally driver, I, I really don't see the. So I thought that. The uh, the uh, Dolphin Dynamic was just a bit of you know a bit of a lost leader. So people come in at thirty nine thousand and then they end up having to buy the the forty five thousand dollar one because of the forty six thousand dollar one because they you know they need that extra power in that. But I don't think you do. I don't think it's a lost leader at all. So the Dynamic is really quite a um, powerful little car. I I wouldn't have thought it was um, as as powerful as what it is. It's you certainly don't feel um, that you're missing out on power, uh, and it's certainly a lot faster and a, has far better acceleration than the um, uh, hybrid Corolla. So what's the verdict? Well, well, the Dolphin is absolutely a generation ahead of the Corolla. Um, if you don't believe me, go and take a Dolphin for a drive. And, uh, and you'll see what I'm saying. Um, so if you're tossing up between a Corolla and a, and a Dolphin, drive both. And when you decide to, when you decide to buy the Dolphin, uh, which one would you buy, the, Dol the uh, Premium or the Dynamic? Well, from what I understand, people are choosing which one they buy based on the colour. Because there's, there's a different colour scheme for the Dynamics and a different colour scheme for the Premium. Um, and a lot of people are choosing um, based on the colour. Um, go figure. Uh, certainly the premium um, is, a, uh, is a much faster car. Um, but the dynamic is still very fast. I mean, it's a lot faster than the Corolla. 
Um, and it doesn't feel like it's, if you excuse the expression, gutless. It um, feels it's got plenty of power. Um, and if, if you're driving around town and you know, an occasional country trip, um, the dynamic's fine. The only reason, I won't say, I was going to say the only reason you buy the premium is if you're a petrol head, but how can you be a petrol head in an EV? But that's, that's my joke for the day. Um, so Dolphin, by a mile or by a kilometre, ahead of the Toyota. Uh, 